welcome to Flooring Models, review time. Today we've got a jig, something a little bit different, um, not something that every bit modeler has and all the rest of it. To be honest, this was sent to me by RS Fine Molds, a new company, okay, who actually even engraved it for me, which is a beautiful little touch. Technically, um, Jigs are something where you're either going to use them and have them or you're not. It's as simple as that. A lot of people probably never even thought of them, don't know how they work and all the rest of it. Your basic thing is, is that you have a strong, sturdy base. Okay, that is the clue to this one, first of all, and certainly this is. It's a very thick MDF base. Okay, it's all been laser cut and laser done and all the other bits and pieces are marked with it. It's on a nice, strong base. The full idea to it is, and unfortunately I haven't got anything that actually would go in this one at the moment, but technically, you would have your aircraft or something else, you would then pop it into the jig, so you'd have your front in the nose and in the back, and you can adjust the heights so you've got it to the right level. So this thing is all moves around and you can wiggle it around, but also your height adjusted on here as well, so you can pop the height up, okay, to whatever height you want it to be. And then what you can have got is these rubber bands, okay? So if it was on something huge, you could just literally do a one over or you could sort of double it up so they'll flick over and we'll hold it and lock it in place and so normally you would screw up the bottom and loose as well I've got it loose so it just it maneuvers then you've got the wings okay so you could have it round this way or not and it's all got markings on each of them so you know your level now if you're doing something on uh, an aircraft with a particularly large wingspan or something else like that then having it so you know it's square so this thing is bolted in and it's perfectly square the idea with the front and rear one is if you've got an aircraft that normally typically is on a tilt or something else like that then you can just pop it in but you would then put it in so it's completely level then you can adjust the height of the wings so it's exactly the right height on both sides so then you could like bring these up a bit put the bands around it so it is completely jigged and this is what this is it's a working jig so then when you're going to do your gluing and your filling and all the rest of it you can have it locked in this whilst it's all drying okay so you've got a perfectly square model now okay i know what some of you are probably thinking well you can use pots of paint and you know various things for it this i think is more designed for those sort of you know models and we're thinking like wing nut wings okay it's a classic example all those types of models where geometry is absolutely everything okay so if you are doing like we reviewed the other week the 132nd wing nut wings the felix stowe things like that you could put it on here quite happily it's got a recessed thing down here so the body will fit in you can put it to the height you can get this thing out to the full size of it jig it okay and you know it's perfect so when you've got the next wing goes on the top okay you know that's going to be perfect as well okay it's got cushion surfaces all the way around it uh, and everything else like that so it's going to protect your plastic it's not all like on plastic on plastic it's going to gouge it up and you've got your rubber bands which is a great idea because really you can just replace them if they wear out or if you wanted to you could just then put in there a different type okay but this one here i just literally hooked it over so if it was on something larger you could put it in if i just grab a sponge for instance you know you could pop it over like that and it'll hold it into place all right and all the rest of it it does all screw firm i've got it quite loose on some of them and some of them are quite tight just so i can show you it maneuvering all right but the idea is is that you can set the height you've got measuring little devices all over this both sides so you can set it exactly so you know you're square once it's all locked in it doesn't matter if you knock it this base is very heavy it's very strong it's not going to go anywhere but generally it's not going to be a problem you can pick this thing up then and maneuver it around with the plane attached to it pop it down and it is all completely locked into position so if you were doing something like the rigging stuff like that you could lock it in here and then obviously you can then just go around maneuver it around put it down and everything else okay it's not I think this size, they do a couple of sizes of them, if I, if I might be mistaken. But like for something on here, like we're doing the Jaguar, because it's on gear, you don't really need it. But if it wasn't on gear, I don't know how this will work on here. You can have these facing forward or back, okay? So if we just pop this one down, this one needs to be a little bit higher just by its nature. But the whole point to this is, if I've got this right, okay, you can pop him in. Okay, just move this one in a little bit. All right, and then you would hook the band round and that will lock that one. And as I say, this one's all loose at the front, so we can just tuck him under. Okay, then the idea being, once this is all in and squared in and everything else, 
Okay, you then can come along with your wings and set this up. But this one, obviously, you're going to need to push forward and pop it all in. And with these, you, you would come in underneath the wing traditionally. I've got this one set a little bit wrong. Okay, and everything else like that. But you get the general idea for this one. Technically, I've had it the other way around. Perhaps that would work better. Uh, but there we go. That's This is really how it works. But as I say, once it's in here, it's locked in. You can then go along, put it over there. It's all totally positionable and everything else like that. Is it something everybody modeler is going to need? No. If it's going to be something that, you know, a new modeler is going to need? No. Uh, and everything else. But if you're into your sort of your bigger stuff and you need a jig that's going to perfectly hold it in position, then this is a great one to have. Okay, so there we go. It's made by RS Fine Molds. Okay, great little new start company as well, and everything else. So, check them out.